I don't think anyone would argue with me when I say that stress levels in this world are running at an all-time high. The world was already complicated enough without the additional factor of the pandemic with the associated loss of loved ones and the lockdowns, bankruptcies and job losses. In this situation the idea of having internal peace seems a tall order, but the truth is Inner peace is just what God promises the believer. Isaiah 26 verse 3 puts it this way, You, meaning God, will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. This is not to suggest that believers never experience stress. After all, they're only human. But this fact does not mean that God's promise is an empty one. The key is in the second part of this verse. Those who will experience the promised peace are those whose eyes are fixed on God and not on their circumstances. God's promise of peace is reinforced more than once in the Bible. For example, Jesus Christ, God in human form, shortly before he departed the world for his heavenly dwelling, stated to his disciples in John 14 verse 27, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give, so don't be troubled or afraid. Why is this a gift the world cannot give? Quite simply, it's because it's given by the Lord who, as creator of the universe and everything in it, is not limited by time, space or human circumstances. The story of Paul and Silas in Philippi is a great example of believers experiencing God's peace despite their human circumstances. The two were beaten and thrown into jail when Paul exorcised a demonic spirit from a slave girl who was telling fortunes and angered her owners who were making money out of her fortune telling. Acts 16 verses 23 to 25 reports, After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them. This story speaks for itself. Despite their dire external circumstances, Paul and Silas's inner peace was not disturbed. The words of a popular Christian worship song gets to the very core of my message today. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. God's promise then is that to the extent that you focus on him and not your troubles, you will experience a peace that Paul rightly states in Philippians 4 verse 7, passes all understanding. If you're already a believer, I urge you in times of trouble to look up to him and not down to your circumstances. And if you're not yet a Christ follower, do consider giving your life to Jesus Christ, Lord and Saviour, so you too can experience a peace that the world cannot give.